managing departments and the different settings in Vision Help Desk. Under the admin settings, you have ticket section and then department. Department plays an important role in Vision Help Desk. On the inbox, you can use department to sort your or to filter your incoming tickets into different departments. Each department has got different ticket status and you can easily filter your tickets based on the different tickets that you have. So for example, in this case, we have general department and when you click on open status, you can filter your inbox to only show or view the open, open status tickets under the general department. And the next, when you create incoming email queues, you can use your departments to map the incoming email queues. Now, if you've got sales email and you have got a sales department, so when you add an email queue, you can map your sales email to sales department. So whenever someone sends an email to sales at your company, that will be created as a ticket under the sales department. And further, when you add a staff member or create a new staff member, you can assign the department access to the staff member. Let's just see how we assign as department access to staff. While adding a new staff, you can set the department access for the staff member. And based on the department access that you have set for the staff members, and when they log into the staff portal, they'll be able to see only the tickets under those departments that they have assigned to. So that's how we can use the department in the system and not just email queue or sorting or filtering the inbox or assigning department access to staff members, but there are several settings in Vision Help Desk that are categorized based on the department. Let's just see how to edit or add a new department. Click on any of the department and you can edit the settings for that department. Or simply add a new department using add option. Select the company for which you want to add a new department. Next, you can set the autoresponder email. If someone creates a ticket under the sales department, the system will send this autoresponder email to them. If you want, you can create a new email template and use that from this section. You can set the display order how you wish to show the department listing on the inbox on the left panel. You can set the department access to public or private. If you set it to public, the clients will be able to see this department while submitting ticket on the client portal. So in the client portal, submit ticket, you can see the department list here. If you have set public, the department will be visible here. And if you set a private department, that will be only visible for the staff members. So this can act as an internal department for your staff members. Next we have eSpare. Now this setting is mainly used for the billing module. We have a separate video for our billing module and we'll be describing more about this particular field in billing module. Next, you can define whether you want to send an autoresponder email, the one that you have set here. Further, we have registration required. If you set this yes, that means any customer creating a ticket for the sales department will have to be registered to the system first and then only they will be able to create the ticket. If set to no, any, any client can send a ticket to sales department even without registration. And further we have team access. You can define the team access here and set the team that you want to allow this department access. Similarly, you have staff access. You can set the staff member for whom you wish to allow access this department. If a team or a staff member has access to this department, so they'll be able to solve the tickets under those departments. And simply add this. So we have created a new department sales. And now if you go on our inbox, 
you can see the newly created department here and each of this department has got ticket status you can filter your tickets using the ticket status under that department now next when you add incoming email queue under the email section when you add a new email here we have mapping department option so when you add a new email queue you can decide under which department you wish to create the tickets so that can be done from this area and that's how you can manage departments or add new departments in Visual Help Desk.